Let's make caramelized onion dip. I've partnered with Lay's to make this caramelized onion dip. Start by chopping four medium yellow onions, then into a pan with some butter, the onions, and a pinch of sugar. Once they're caramelized, add to a bowl, along with one cup sour cream, eight ounces cream cheese, a quarter cup scallions, a third cup mayonnaise, half a teaspoon onion powder, a splash of Worcestershire sauce, and salt and pepper. Look at that. Welcome back to Raw or Not. Today we have a beautiful tomahawk. It's a nice cut of meat. First, we'll season generously with salt, making sure to hit all sides. Next, we'll sear off the fat cap. And once golden brown, it's time to sear. Now in with some butter, herbs, and garlic. And into the oven we go. We'll make our first slice here, and I want you to judge right away. Is it raw or not? You get to decide. Comment your vote below. Let's make vanilla extract. Exactly two years ago, I made this bottle of vanilla extract. Fair warning, this recipe takes one year. Then last year, I transferred it to this fancy new bottle and named it Charles. For those of you still with me, thank you. This is two years of work, and I'm gonna show you how to make it again. Start by slicing open a few vanilla beans to expose the seeds on the inside. Now into an empty bottle, add your vanilla beans, our two-year aged vanilla extract, then top it off with either vodka or bourbon. Now I'll age this for another whole year, and I'll see you at the end of 2023 with even better vanilla extract. The full recipe's in my new cookbook. Go pre-order. This is a king crab. If you ever have a special occasion with lobster or crab, start with some high quality butter. And once melted, add some minced garlic, some lemon zest, a touch of Old Bay, and a pinch of salt. Then once it turns a light golden brown, pour it into ramekins, finish with some parsley, and then we dip. That'll be the best bite of your life. It doesn't get better than this. Let's send a slice of pizza to space. First, we'll cook our pizza. It's a grilled pizza from my new cookbook. Then we'll attach it to our spacecraft. We named it Pesto. And away it goes. Once it's reached space, there's something I want you to know. The recipes and knife drop are out of this world, literally. It's time to bring it back to Earth so I can eat lunch. There it is. Woo! We found it! The pizza! We got pizza! We got it! Yes! We got it! Me on. No. It's all cold and wet, but it's time to eat some space pizza. Oh, I forgot. One random person who pre-orders Knife Drop will get this book signed and sent straight back from space. Go pre-order now. I'll go to the moon and back for pizza. Let's make hot chocolate from a chocolate bar. Grab a few chocolate bars. I use about one cup or four ounces of dark chocolate. Then chop it up and scoop it into a microwave safe bowl. Now into a saucepan, add two cups whole milk, one and a half tablespoons sugar, and a splash of cream. While it heats up, melt your chocolate in the microwave. And when the milk begins to bubble on the sides, turn off the heat and whisk in the chocolate. Finish with a touch of vanilla extract. Then add some Nutella, pour, and finish with whipped cream and chocolate shavings. You just make them by going like this. Make this and hot chocolate will never be the same. That is so good. If you're not doing it from scratch, you're not doing it right. If you haven't tried bone marrow, you're missing out. If you've never tried bone marrow, it's basically just beef flavored butter. It's delicious, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. Add your bones to a baking sheet, then sprinkle with salt and pepper, then into the oven at 450 Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. Now, you can either eat it now on a slice of bread. It's buttery, fatty, beefy, delicious. Or you can take things a step further and add a sprinkle of sugar, then caramelize it, and it's even better. It's like a savory creme brulee. Don't knock it till you try it. Let's make Chipotle's viral honey vinaigrette dressing. Chipotle promised that if they hit their goal of helping the Farmling Project donate over 20 million pounds of produce this winter, I'd get to leak how to make their viral honey vinaigrette at home. They kept their word. Into a blender with a quarter cup red wine vinegar, two and a half tablespoons honey, Chipotle's adobo marinade, but you can just use three tablespoons canned Chipotle peppers, a half a tablespoon salt, and four tablespoons of water. Blend until well combined, then while still blending, slowly drizzle in a half cup of oil to combine. You should have a nice consistent emulsion. Finish with a half a teaspoon black pepper and a quarter teaspoon dried oregano. I could bathe in this stuff. And you've got the dressing of your dreams. This is Brazilian lemonade and everything about it is just perfection. Perfection? I'll see about that. Start by slicing three limes, then into a blender, and we'll cover them with cold water. Strain, then back into the blender, along with some sweetened condensed milk and a handful of ice. You can also add some sugar if desired. Is it Brazilian lemonade or Swiss lemonade? It's creamy, it's flavorful, and it tastes so fresh. That is perfection. I'm gonna cook a whole octopus. He's almost as tall as me. I love that sound. Remove the beak, then decapitate the octopus. Now into a bowl with some salt, and we'll give it a nice Swedish massage. Now into a pot with some olive oil, a nice pinch of salt, and water. Hook your finger oh. where the beak was earlier. Dip the octopus in and out until it begins to curl up. Now we'll fully submerge the octopus, and we'll let this cook about an hour and a half or until tender. Looking good, Mr. Octopus. This is so tender I can cut it with a chopstick. Or my pinky. I like to pan fry it. Little oil, and once it's hot, drop it in. And once it's got a nice crust, we'll paint it with a nice glaze and you've made yourself the perfect octopus. You have to try octopus.
I take this over steak any day. If you've seen my octopus teacher, I'm sorry. This is a Hokkaido hairy crab. It's a delicacy in Japan, known for its sweet and tender flesh. To begin, I'll give it a nice scrub. He sure is hairy. And maybe even a little shade. Now into the steamer for 15 minutes. And we'll tear off his legs, claws, and shell. And once we break through the shell, we're left with beautiful crab meat. It's a soft, sweet, and super flaky crab meat. 11 out of 10 would definitely recommend. If you like crab, you're gonna love this. Look at that. Let's make buffalo chicken tenders for Thursday night football with Amazon. Start with a few chicken tenderloins, then soak them in buttermilk and pickle juice. For the dredge, flour, potato starch, and a few seasonings. Stir in some of the buttermilk mixture, coat, then fry at 350 Fahrenheit till nice and crispy. For the sauce, two thirds cup hot sauce, a splash of vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, cayenne pepper, and garlic powder. And once bubbling, add to a blender, then gradually add in a stick of cubed butter until nice and smooth. Prime Video is the new home for Thursday night football. Head to the TNF store to shop your team's gear. The best roast potatoes you've ever had. Start with two pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes, then peel and cut into bite-sized chunks, then into some boiling water with some salt, baking soda, and your potatoes. Now once fork tender, add your potatoes to a bowl, and pour over two tablespoons clarified butter and a third cup mayonnaise. Gently stir until a mashed potato-like paste begins to form, then spread on a baking sheet, finish with Spanish rosemary salt. This is one of my favorite salts in the entire world. Then into the oven at 450 Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 minutes. I mean, does that not look insane? Crispy on the outside and it tastes like mashed potatoes on the inside. Sweet Green has Chipotle chicken burrito bowls now. And I'm gonna make one. Two scoops of wild rice, one scoop of red onions, some purple cabbage, a scoop of grape tomatoes, a sprinkle of cilantro, one scoop of lime cilantro black beans, a scoop of blackened chicken, and finish with roasted Chipotle salsa. And no lettuce. Go try Sweet Green's new Chipotle chicken burrito bowl. This is not a salad. My favorite movie is Ratatouille. I loved it so much that I even got a Remy of my own. He was a cute little hamster and I named him Pesto. Pesto loved food almost as much as I loved him. And when Pesto passed away, I couldn't bring myself to throw away his crate. I wanted to create something that would live on in his memory. So I decided to turn his crate into an herb garden. I've partnered with Kiehl's during Earth Month for the launch of their sustainability platform, Mission Renewal. I used to buy my herbs in these containers, but it was too much wasted plastic. Now I grow my own, can cook with fresh herbs whenever I like and pesto is still my cooking buddy. Join me and Kiehl's in creating a new sustainable habit. This is not fried chicken. It's ice cream. So this is a bucket of not fried chicken. It did cost us $110. Let's see if it's worth it. So this actually looks like fried chicken. It has all the crispy bits and the crust. And there's even a bone sticking out of the end. It even has the same crunching sound as fried chicken. It's perfect golden brown. This is definitely one of the best pieces of ice cream I've ever had. It's perfect. Believe it or not, cheese. <laughs> no, this is cheese. <laughs> what are you doing? Delicious. Need more cheese. This is Gokujo AAA Hokkaido Uni. If you've watched my videos, you've probably seen me crack open a few sea urchins in the past since it's my second favorite food behind rotisserie chicken. Uni is the Japanese word for sea urchin. And to put it bluntly, it's the animal's private parts. I like to put some on a spoon, brush it lightly with soy sauce, and a tiny squeeze of lemon. This bite should be creamy, acidic, and salty. I love you so much. Would you try uni? Pizza for Nick. Thank you. Flour. Then we'll stretch out our dough. You want to try? Yeah. Into the pan. Sauce. Cheese. Beef. And? No. A little. Not enough. Yeah. Now it's Italian. Time to bake. Mmm. Delicious. Something is wrong with you. Let's make Wagyu dumplings. This right here is a $350 piece of steak. We'll start by mincing up our Wagyu, then into a bowl, along with some cabbage, green onion, ginger, a few chives, one egg, a little soy sauce, and sesame oil. Mix it up, then place down a wrapper, add some filling, then moisten the edges, and crimp the dumpling. It takes a little practice, but once you get it down, it's really fun. It should look something like this. Layer the dumplings in a steamer and cook for six minutes. Moment of truth. Wow. I'll dip in some yuzu soy sauce. I just know this is gonna be insane. Time for a taste. Wow. That is one of the best things I've ever tasted. 
I've got Wagyu and dumpling wrappers.